Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're talking about how to deal with these Town Hall 9 offset queen bases where she's typically kind of isolated, she's very close, you know, four or five tiles away from the outer wall. One of the best things you can do is a queen walk mass hog, and what makes it a mass hog is we're not bringing any golems, just CC full of hogs, 21 of your own hogs, then some funneling troops like wizards, baby dragons, sometimes a loon or two um, to take out a few defenses where they uh, where the opportunity presents itself. So basically, um, it's just dropping down the queen, typically going to use no more than one rage. That's ideal. If you have to use two rages, you better get a big chunk of the base taken out because that only allows two heals for the hogs. And typically the hogs are going to need two to three heals, uh, preferably three, even four heals would be best uh, to keep those hogs healed up throughout the base. So this is uh, Dirty Dancing starting off. And notice how the queen really has only taken out two defenses, the CC and the queen, and the hogs are already going into the base. Uh, she did a two finger drop there, king up top. Now, oftentimes, Sometimes you there's a little bit of uncertainty as to where to use the king um, but one of the best places is to trade for the defensive king now I I missed it and I can't remember if it was this t attack where the defensive king was traded for it might have been because it looks like he's no longer alive uh, yeah defensive uh, king trade so if the king is also close to the outside use your own king take him out take out maybe a few defenses tank for point defense that's a great use of the king and then just let the hogs run through the rest of the base with three four heal spells they will crush that base and the queen meets up with her ability so basically that's the attack strategy we have a ton of attacks to take a look at it's probably the most uh, popular strategy either this or just like a golem based hog attack sometimes you can do queen walk and a golem uh, bowler kill squad different combinations but this is one of the most prevalent attacks and i think the most common for sure on this base with the offset uh, queen so a great way to to take out this type of base let's look at some more examples and talk through those as well nice attack to dirty dancing uh, base 21 here, uh, Mr. Yazbek on this one. And uh, once again, the queen is offset. You can see there uh, with only four tiles, you're definitely gonna, your queen's definitely gonna aggro her. Sometimes it's a little bit sketchier, but this one, easy uh, queen aggro. So goes ahead and drops down some troops on the town hall and drops the king in as well. Um, wait for the king to step up aggro the heroes. I believe the king is used for funneling and for taking out the defensive king. He doesn't actually engage the queen. Yeah, he walks around the base. So doesn't engage the queen. That's for the uh, for the archer queen to do. A simple one hog lure for the CC. Sometimes the CC is harder to, uh, to lure. In that case, basically you just have to either wait for your queen to take out defenses uh, to make an opportunity to drop a, ho a few hogs in or invest like three to four hogs just to take out a defense then get in range of the CC. Um, but in this base, pretty easy CC lure. Now doing a little bit more with the queen here, gonna go ahead and get her in there to take out that expo. Now this one witch would not die, um, which made this one a little bit uh, tricky. I actually remember watching this one live as it happened and we were kind of starting to get worried there. Has to pop the queen's ability really late. The queen is so close to dying. Uh, too close for my liking, uh, but goes ahead and pops her right there. She'll step up, she'll grab the expo, and then from there she will be fine with just one and then no point defense on her. Here come the hogs. Once again, the CC hogs are uh, so powerful, even at Town Hall 9. I made a video on Town Hall 8. They're really powerful there, but Town Hall 9 as well, still two full levels above the level 5 hogs you have at Town Hall 9. Queen's on a wall, which is fine. She'll get healed back up, and then she'll continue to help uh, the hogs take out defenses further in the base. Getting a little bit low on hogs due to a few spring traps, but still has a solid group working up top. Plus that last heal, seems like with these types of attacks, you have plenty of heals for your hogs, as long as you're smart about where you do your queen walk. Um, but for the most part, when a, a person puts their queen that offset, there's typically not many defenses by the queen because they're trying to prevent you from getting a nice uh, value kill squad if you send something towards the queen. So typically she'll be kind of isolated, which makes it great for queen walks because you won't have to invest it as much in keeping your queen up, which is important because that way you have more heals for the hogs. So great stuff. Once again, we had the king trade. That's a classic. Uh, great use of the king. Also tanking point defense, a few wizards behind can even start to shoot some defenses down if they're in that first layer on the outside of the base. So uh, let's move on to base 24. 
Um, this one, I believe, is a little bit more of a queen charge to a certain extent. Um, but once again, only has to bring a rage, just one. Three heals, that's very important. This is Nash Madridista, I think a somewhat new member, if I'm not mistaken, uh, coming at this base, and the queen's going to step up for that town hall. This base, uh, we spent, I think, three attacks all failing in the same way. The CC, um, it was the same queen walk every time, but we kept luring the CC on the air defense. So the CC would run to where the air defense was, then would come and target the healers. Because if you watch the way that the queen uh, wraps around the base, the healers will be targeted. Once the CC is over here taking the hog out, it'll be close closer to the healers than the queen. So we kept losing the healers to the baby dragon in the CC. Um, just like multiple times, it was really disappointing. But finally, uh, the solution was to just wall breaker the queen in. That way she herself triggers the CC instead of a few suicide hogs. That way they're definitely gonna target the queen there. Rages, poisons. Now the one air defense still uh, wreaking havoc in a new way, um, and this, this time by uh, getting on those healers. But if you noticed, he tried to drop the healers very low down. Um, on purpose so he was able to save a few healers because some of them got lower down than others so still has i think two or three healers on the queen that'll be enough to keep her up for a while plus has the ability i believe a king trade is coming yep once again the king trade and a tesla there um that's not a good thing to see on a cleanup attack because it looks like he wasn't ready for it i gotta watch those other attacks closer especially in the cwo matchups um didn't even notice that when i was watching this okay i guess he just didn't uh, prepare for the Tesla, but I guess things happen and uh, has plenty of hogs left up, crushes this base, and they'll all run to the corner here with the Skellies um, hot on their heels and the defensive king. Is he going to go all the way out there? No, he's going to come back. So the defensive king got a little bit weird there, um, but I think eventually his king will finally step up and we'll have the king trade. Um, I think he'll pop the ability um, that'll get him the edge over the defensive king. And this one will be GG. A good split, good cleanup, has a minion as well. Um, this base crushed. We'll fast forward. Two more attacks to take a look at, and then we'll wrap this thing up. 25, just going down one here. Uh, Dax. This one, um, another nice queen walk here. Going to start her right around uh, 3 o'clock and test the pops but has the healers to uh to get that test to taken out good baby dragon to funnel some wizards making a nice uh high high troop space funnel but definitely worth it because the queen if she walks the wrong way that air defense will take out her healers pretty quickly so needs her to go the correct way and she does she'll head towards the cannon and then one important thing to do is make sure you poison the defensive queen ahead of time because once she starts shooting you can be in trouble if you're late on the poison then you're, you're fumbling to get the rage or the ability as well so just make sure you're early on the poisons they last for so long you don't need the entire like 10 second duration typically just like three to four seconds so drop it a few seconds early uh, as you anticipate your queen about to engage the enemy queen but that's basically it you're going to start your queen about in the same area as the defensive queen then just let her walk one direction uh whichever direction you is better benefit you want to look for where the air defenses are make sure they're not going to take out the healers if they are you can't walk her in that direction unless you like wall breaker her in to take out the air defense and also look for not having to invest too much in the queen these are meant to be high value queen walks but they're not meant to be um high investment queen walks so if you have to use two rages you might want to rethink your queen walk you might want to use the king um, you can use the king for a king trade. That's always a good idea. It looks like Dax attempted that, but the king's too deep inside the base to uh, to get that king trade. But um, if not the king trade, you can use the king to tank for the queen, to take stuff out, out to help her move faster. Basically a way to give your queen more value without having to use the rage or the ability and it'll allow you to invest more spells in your hogs, which um, it's important to have a number of heals for depending on the base. So crushes this base. Notice how a lot of these attacks are just completely uh, destruction on these bases. They can really wreck some bases for sure. Nice one to Dax, and we have one more to take a look at as uh, the queen's ability is essentially swagged right there. Uh, moving down one to Tornado Top Hat, um, once again, you can see the queen in this case, very, very offset. 
very far over. And I think the reason you don't necessarily want to try a kill squad on this base is, well, basically because the attacker puts most of their traps in the opposite side of the base. So the kill squad is going to be a much bigger troop space investment. Four healers, that's only 28 times 2, 56 troop space. That's basically the uh, two golems. Um, and oftentimes you're going to bring a lot more than two golems. You're going to invest your clan castle of bowlers. So oftentimes you find yourself investing a lot in a kill squad. And really, the kill squad is a little bit less reliable than hogs are in my opinion at least, because with hogs, you know how they're gonna path, the walls aren't an issue, and you can kinda of see where the giant bombs probably are, you can know about where you're gonna to have to heal, stuff like that. I think it's just a little bit more predictable than having to use a kill squad, having to worry about funneling. It's typically easier just to funnel your queen in one way or the other than it is to funnel an entire group of troops inside the base. And as you watch these attacks, um, I forgot to mention, but pay attention to the queen funneling, um, the stuff I talked about in my queen funneling guide a few videos back. It's all there, all the principles, um, making the queen commit to one side, all that good stuff's there. So if you keep an eye out for it, you'll see it. Anyway, the hog's coming in, a nice king to essentially tank, triggers a giant bomb. I think maybe even gets a Tesla if there was one up there, or at least tank some defenses, which is always good. And the hog's right behind him. And one of the great things about using the king that way is oftentimes he won't die in a king trade, or if he's tanking, he probably won't die, so he can help with cleanup, and he can help kind of finish off anything that's still left up. In this case, he's pretty low on health, but other times we'll have a full health king left up, and even if a few defenses don't go down, he can be a, a huge help in finishing off a base along with your queen. Your queen, you should plan on having her up the entire attack. Um, if it looks like there's an area that she might get uh, shot down, that's a good place to either deploy the hogs from or drop the king. You don't want your queen to go down typically. She's very helpful for cleanup. And luckily these, these attacks, I don't see a whole lot of time fails because as long as you don't take forever in your queen walk, just do it in less than Start the hogs within a minute of the attack, um, so with two minutes left on the clock. If you, As long as you start the hogs at that point, they should take, with the number of hogs you have, which is typically about 25, um, at least 20 plus a CC, you can get through the base pretty quickly, and as long as your cleanup is deployed, as I said in my cleanup video, as the troops are kind of being... As the troops are clearing an area, your hogs are moving through, you drop the wizards, you drop the archers, whatever, you should have plenty of time. Not a big time fail attack. Even though it is heavy on a queen walk and it is heavy on defense targeting troops, it's still um, not a huge queen walk, ideally. You're just dropping down your queen, as you saw in the first attack, to get some value and then to, uh, to kind of just help with cleanup and get some other defenses. So that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.